what's going on guys this is gz welcome to my channel so on the day first when the major update came out i tried out the new party finder mode which is quick match making for the dungeon and it says don't know where to start doing a random dungeon to start an adventure and get loot also this actually has a higher chance of giving you the set item and you will also find a pity system inside that which is if you do not find any set item within seven dungeon then your seventh dungeon will be guarantee a set item drop and also let me quickly show it to you guys this will always be a on high drop chance for you any dungeon that you actually play in this and the chances are actually really nice and yeah uh one more thing let me clarify you it says here in final three but it doesn't mean that it is going to only find a place with inferno 3 the reason is inferno 1 2 and 3 are all tied together so let me give you example here as you guys can just see in, can see here hidden layer inferno 1 2 3 bounties inferno 1 2 3 because they are all tied together so it doesn't matter uh, that on what inferno difficulty you are playing so now let me just quickly show it to you guys you can also do them through the codex just click here and it will take you to the random dungeon option click on the random dungeon and it should work really fast on day one it wasn't working for some reason and we got our favorite dungeon there all right let's play this and uh, let me show you guys the pity system as well if i do not find any set item all right while these guys were clearing the back side i cleared the front to make us a lot faster i am so far really liking this new uh, random dungeon this is actually quite motivational for me to get engaged in dungeons and farm some wisps and also it is cross server i can confirm you if you guys know kill switch uh another content creator i was just playing with him with the random dungeon find we matched together and we played one dungeon so that was nice to know it is cross server and inferno one and three all are going to match with one another so really good there and we are already halfway down by the way if you guys are wondering what uh cosmetic i am using this is the uh lineage from the chinese event and tell you the truth it looks far superior than the current phantom market the deathless destiny in my opinion the animation behind uh the back the beast that you can see is actually looking really nice and he also has an animation he spins around you as well but he goes away when i activate the vengeance so you guys cannot see but anyways another good thing here is that you cannot see anyone paragon level unless you click on them so you can't sell if someone is new or active player which is actually a nice change maybe they thought about it to reduce the toxicity just by someone noticing oh this guy is below 50 paragon level we have to carry him so you will not feel that unless you actually check that by yourself manually and there goes 
So I am actually going to get this set item because uh, no, I didn't look at this guarantee set item upon seven completion. I did not get any set item since five run, but on my seventh run, I am going to get the guarantee set item, which is actually really good. I don't know what Blizzard has been doing, but they did some good changes to the warband and now to dungeon and i can only hope that they make some changes for the legendary quest as well they are going into the right direction and they should follow this track for more changes that would make the game more entertaining for every class of player whether it's a low spender free to play or whales but anyways, this is actually another great change game to Diablo Immortal with the major update and I am actually really liking it. So yeah, this is it for the video. Do let me know how are you guys enjoying the new update and I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, take care, have fun and bye guys.